Why is it so? Why is it that the more we're getting educated, the more we're getting enlightened, the more we're getting successful, the failure in marriage is increasing? With all the knowledge we have, with all the books we have, with every access to psychologists and therapists, and in spite of all of that, there is a higher failure of marriage. Why is it? Why is it that a manager who manages thousands of people is failing to manage five people in his own home? Why is it that a director who directs big corporations, in multinational corporations, is failing to direct his own home? Why is it that a, a communication specialist, those spin doctors who can speak for government and others, they are failing to communicate at home? Why is it that the business strategists, those who are doing successful and giving big strategies for organizations, why is it that they don't have a strategy to make their family successful? Why is it that we are failing more in spite of all the material things? If you realize, the higher divorce rate is among the educated and the learned. You see, the higher divorce rates are in the suburbs. They are not in the informal settlement. Maybe they cannot afford it. But anyway, the point is, the more we're getting educated, the more we're successful, we're failing. And I would like to suggest that it has to do with the secret of marriage. It has to do with the origin of marriage. You see, marriage does not come from some United Nations Geneva Protocol. That they came together and says, let's organize how people can live together. Marriage does not come from some psychological symposium on how people can live together. Marriage does not come from a scientific experiment. And I dare say, marriage does not come from your culture. Your, many of your cultures are 300, 400 years old. Marriage predates your culture. That's why when you say, I'm in Debele, I cannot do this. I'm a Zulu, I cannot do, no, I want to, no, you can't run marriage in a Zulu way. <laughs> right, you can't run it in a Debele or in a Shona way. When you try to do that, you mess it up. You're using your little uh, culture, which is 300, 400 years old. Marriage predates it. It goes all the way to the Garden of Eden. If you are going to find the right culture of marriage, go to the Garden of Eden. The issue has to do with the origin. You see, the, 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 the issue is simple. If you are going to buy a car, read the manual on how to operate it. The challenge we are having today is that people are ignoring what the manual says. They don't care. Now, let's take for example, you know, you bought a car, you bought a little car, a little car, um, maybe a little Tata. A little Tata Indica, you bought it, it's yours, it's 100%, it's yours, you paid cash for it, it's yours. Not like many other people who say, that, this is my car when it belongs to Bank Finn and West Bank. <laughs> and now they expect us to congratulate them when the car is not theirs. Instead, we must congratulate Bank Finn. Now the issue is, but this one is yours. You bought it, cash is yours, you take it home, it says it's mine, you move around it, you look at it, it says it's mine. Yeah. You touch it and whatever, you just, it's mine. Then you decide, he says, you know what? The first thing I'm going to do, this is mine. Those Indians, you know, the Tata, they, they, they have nothing on me. It's my car. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to throw away the manual. Because what can they tell me to do with my car? Yeah, so when they say poor petrol, I will put in cooking oil. Mix it with water and salt. Stir it up and put into the thing. Because it's my car. What will happen? Soon, you'll drive a bit, if there was still a little bit of petrol in the engine, and soon you'll get stuck on the highway. Too many marriages are stuck on the highway of life. Because people say it's my marriage. I'll do whatever I want. 
Nobody can tell me nothing. We fail to recognize there is an honor of marriage. Who gave the manual? You see, many of us, we want the marriage, but we don't want the God of the marriage. You know, many of us are like thieves. We enter God's house and steal marriage. Now, you have seen thieves. All the thieves, when they come to steal something in your house, whether it's a television or whether it's a hi-fi system, they never remember to steal the manual. <laughs> you don't find a thief looking for the manual. Hey, man, what am I going to do? You know, they never remember. They, they're just in a, because they think they know better. And many of us are thieves of marriage. That's why we don't have the manual. If only we were having the manual, if only we were following the manual, and I want to just say this to you, if you can find people who are following what the Bible says, those people will be happily married. So our challenge is we fail to recognize the origin and to go back to follow what God says. Marriage is all about God. Marriage is all about God. Marriage is one of the most complex relationship that you can ever get into. It's the coming together of two strangers from different backgrounds, different personalities, different upbringings, sometimes different cultures, different ways of doing things. And these two strangers must come and live together in one house, one room, one bed, without killing each other. It's not easy. I mean, you know, I mean, wherever you come from, you've got a culture, some sleep crossing the bed that way. You know, some are snoring. Whatever is, is happening, people have got, you know, people have got different, they come from different backgrounds. Now, somebody says, only God can think of marriage. And only God can make it work. Because I always tell the people that if it was me, I was going to simplify it. I was going to say, don't marry a stranger. Marry your own sister or brother. <laughs> it's easy. There's no in-laws problems. Whenever you've got a problem, you go to your parents. <laughs> you know? And I, I was going to simplify it. You know, just, just don't worry about these in-law issues and brother-in-law, sister-in-law. For what? We are all brothers and sisters. Simplify. But God decided to make it complicated. Decided that you must marry a stranger. He made, he made the puzzle of marriage so complicated that you can't do it by yourself. You need God to help you navigate the puzzle of marriage. Only God. 